What's going on? Here we are answering 2024 AP Bio FRQs. We've gone through all the other ones. Well, we haven't gone through six yet. We've gone through one, two, three, four, and now we're going to five. Five was an interesting question. Lots of stuff going on. Let's talk about it. Um, so researchers study mechanisms that enable or prevent speciation. Describe a postzygotic mechanism that prevents gene flow and thus enables speciation. Uh, there's three, right? You could have talked about hybrid infertility. You could have talked about um, hybrid inviability. You could have talked about... Um, I'm missing one. There's the one where the, the hybrids make sterile offspring. There's the one where the hybrids don't live very many generations. And then there's the one where the... Um, hybrids um, don't live at all. I think that's inviability. Hybrid infertility is what I would suggest because it's pretty easy, like the mule. And there's one more. It's the one where they don't survive for very many generations. I don't can't think of the vocab term right off the top of my head, but any one of those would have been fine. And because it's AP Bio, FRQ, the graders don't need your vocab term. They just need you to describe it if you don't know the term. So you'll be fine if you describe that. Moving on. New genes can evolve from non-coding regions of DNA. It's not until certain regulatory elements are present in the DNA that a non-coding region becomes a new functional gene that encodes for a protein. These regulatory elements include a promoter, untranslated region of UTR followed by a start codon, and a three prime UTR followed by a stop codon. Blah, 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 blah. Lots of stuff. Uh, researchers study the evolution of the family of antifreeze glycoprotein, AG for short, encoding genes in Gatidae, a family of marine fish known as cods. When present in these fish, these glycoproteins reduce the freezing temperature of the fish. The researchers compared genomic sequences in non-cod species and one non-cod species, B. brosome, uh, brosome, bros me, they recorded the presence or absence of the elements of the functional AG genes as well as AG-like sequences that are similar to a functional gene but have undergone mutation do not contain all the elements required to enable protein production figure two. So let's look at this picture. It's pretty crazy, right? Lots of business going on here. You got your out group up here, right, with brosme. You got your cod type species and you got some Got some other things going on here. You got some stuff turned on and some stuff turned off. And yeah, good deal. Based on the data in figure two, explain how changes to the genome enabled CODs to survive and reproduce. Uh, survive and reproduce is just fitness, right? Uh, after a period of freezing temperatures between 10 and 15 million years ago. Um, okay, very simple, right? Change in the genomes causes a change in the production of a protein and the production of that particular protein, which in this case is the AG protein, uh, would have increased fitness in the CODs during the freezing time. Simple. Um, it's always looking for simple things. You know, it's, it's now that you're at the end of the class, of course, you can't go back and redo that. But um, every time, it's the simplest answers the best. Don't get tangled up in your own feet and trip over things. It's just not worth it. Um, very simple, right? It's just simple evolution. Part C, using the template in the space provided for your response, please place an X on the phylogenetic tree to represent the origin of the functional AG gene. So we need to go up here and draw. What color is my X going to be? It's going to be red. Okay, so I looked at this for a little while. And the break here is here, right? Uh, the functional AG gene is going to have these proteins in them, right? And so um, put an X in the following it to represent the origin of the functional AG gene. Um, functional AG genes are lost, which means that they were at one time a thing, but are now lost, right? And so um, I'm gonna go back here and put my really thick X back there. Um, I'm going to thin my X out a little bit. I'm going to go right here with my X. Um, that may be wrong. 
it, it may it may want to go right here but i think that because these genes at one time were functional and then they were lost is i think that that is what's going to um, where that x is going to be correctly placed definitely willing to hear your counterpoints to that in the comments down below let's look at uh, part d based on figure two explain so there's explain not only am i making a claim but i'm going to justify my claim explain how genetic differences among the species of a getaday family determine the habitats in which they survive very simple right um the genes code for phenotypes and the environment acts upon those phenotypes to determine what is most fit and so the organisms are going to be in the environment in which they're most fit because the ones that they're least fit in they're not going to be there they've already died and so um, the environment's going to act on phenotypes phenotypes are determined by the genes this one wasn't too bad we only got one more to go if you like these sorts of videos please comment down below subscribe to this channel tell your friends about it uh, come watch me play Fortnite. Come watch me play uh, Minecraft Chip Mafia at twitch.tv. Join me later.